Brenda. Welcome to Nana's Hidden Apron. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today I want to try to make something I've not made before. I've, I've wanted to make it several times, but I just wasn't too sure about it. So, I'm going to make cottage pie. A lot of people might call it shepherd's pie. I think shepherd's pie actually related to uh, in the olden days, over in England area, when it was made, how they would, um, they would use lamb to make it. <laughs> well, I'm going a whole nother route. I'm using ground turkey. Let's get right on into this. I'm going to get you guys set up over here to start out with. I already have me some, some water boiling. So let's get set up over here. First things first, the water is boiling for these potatoes that I'm going to uh, dice up and peel and all that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, first thing I want to do is peel these potatoes. I already have this bag over here that the potatoes were in. so. Let's get these done. I really should have had this done so uh, already. See, I thought I was going to be really slick and use <laughs> use instant potatoes, but I didn't have any. Yeah, I thought I was going to do it a super quick way. But, that's okay. I'm sure this is going to taste better than instant potatoes anyway. We love to watch Lumna Acres. And the things that they do with their homesteading. Because Tom's starting to really get into that. But, um, and me of course, I love watching her with her recipes. But she made a shepherd's pie. But we will, uh, we'll link their channel down here for any of you guys that's interested in homesteading. Sorry. Trying to get this out of the way without spilling it. And what did I do? Picked it up and spilt it. <laughs> That's what I do. Y'all know I've got my water over here. Rinse these potatoes. And we're going to give them a good little slice. I'm going to dice them up small. That's my intention is to... to, to uh, that's much small, so it doesn't take so long for them to cook. All I did was I'm putting these in some salted water just to boil them, get them going, All right, and let's slice some onion. Give it a little peel, cut these ends off of it. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm just going to use, oh, probably a fourth of it. Then I'll put the rest of it in a Ziploc or a zipper bag. Rinse. 
I'm still not real familiar with my knives. So you'll notice I'm being like super careful because I believe that it would go in through the bone of the finger very easily. I believe it would. All right, now there's that. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and heat up a skillet to get um, our, our ground turkey started up. on and I'll get you guys turned around here so you can see what's happening right let's get you right around here Is that all right with you guys yeah there's my potatoes over there boiling away boiling away all right some olive oil and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these right on on in there right on on there right on in there We're going to take some ham uh, spray, olive oil spray, spray our dish. It's my baking dish that we're going to use. That. A tablespoon of Worcestershire. sure what the ketchup is for, but I just know that it called for it, so we're just going to put a teaspoon, no, tablespoon, that's a tablespoon, a teaspoon of Worcestershire, about a tablespoon of ketchup. Now I went ahead and drained off my potatoes because I'm going to mash them. It smells good. I think I am going to add just a little bit more of my uh, beef bouillon to it though. So that's going to put us at a tablespoon and a half of the beef bouillon. I've used this uh, ground turkey for chili and Tom and I agree so far that it's the best chili that I've ever cooked and I'm pretty daggone good at making beef chili but now this making chili with, with the uh, ground turkey I really do like it really do all right now I'm going to turn the heat down on this and uh Bring you guys over here so you can watch as I mash these potatoes if you want to watch. I use a I use a hand masher that my mama gave. Uh, my mama. This was my mama's. She passed away three years ago. And uh, this is 
this is hers and this is what I'm using. But I don't know if you're familiar with how to mash potatoes. See if I can get you guys up here so you can see what I'm doing. It's probably going to be a little difficult. Um, let's see here. Get y'all over here like this. See, you just mash them around like that. This is just uh, how I do it. Prior to having my mama's, I, I had my own and uh, gave it to my daughter. And one day I'll give it to, probably give her this one day. Never know. All right, let's get y'all set right there. We're going to put some butter in it and some milk. That's all I'm going to do with it. I've already uh, boiled them in some salted water. So that's all we are going to do as far as the potatoes go. Um, you don't want them overly creamy because they're going to go on top of this uh, mixture, the meat mixture, meat and veggie mixture, so we don't want it super creamy. Just a bit of butter, a little bit of milk. Um, I, I eyeball it. I'm sorry, y'all. Just out of habit. That's how we do it here at home. just love the smell of fresh mashed potatoes. I could have very well ruined that by putting, <laughs> putting the uh, imitation potatoes on, on here. And just swirl it around a little bit. Now, just a little taste to make sure. Oh, it's great, yeah. Yeah, that tastes great. About a teaspoon, I believe. That's what we'll use. And then we're going to give it a good stir around. And then next, I'm going to add about half a cup of the... Uh, turn my fire back up, my heat back up under my skillet. But I think I'm just going to add half a cup of the broth at a time. I don't want to put too much in it. And then, um, I'll go ahead and put these peas and carrots in it. I went ahead and got the frozen ones that you just steam. Uh, instead of steaming them for the full time, I steamed them. Sorry, that's, that's Brinkley. Hey, buddy, that was me. Um, I went ahead and, and uh, warmed them in the microwave for three minutes just to thaw them out. So, let's go with that. And we'll go ahead and put these uh, peas and carrots in. That's what it is right there from, from the wall of Mart. A lot of people don't like peas, so you, you know, use corn. Use corn and carrots or... Just use corn in general, I guess. You don't really have to put the uh, carrots in if you don't want to. We're just kind of doing this on the fly, <laughs> as y'all know. Now, you get this heat back up. I think I've already told you I've got my oven. If I haven't, then I'm telling you now. <laughs> I have my oven preheated to 350, and we're going to put this in the oven, uh, we'll, we'll put this in the pan, top it with the potatoes, and we'll let it bake for about 25 minutes. I believe I'm going to have to put some more liquid in here because I don't have a good gravy. That flour was to, to thicken it and make like a gravy in there, and there is not a gravy in there. <laughs> There's a very small amount of gravy in there. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more in there. Sprinkle it around. So 
and add some more of my broth. So we've come up with now one cup of broth. Stir this around. There we go. That's what we're hoping for right there. Now, I'm not sure how much of this to put in there. Probably all of it. If it'll fit. I think they did like a 9 by 13 pan or something. This is obviously not a 9 by 13. <laughs> we'll just... Yeah, I'll go ahead and put it all in there. I think it'll be all right. Because it was just a pound of, of uh, ground turkey. So I don't know about that ketchup, though. I'm not sure why that had to be put in there. But apparently it's supposed to be. Okay, there's that. And set that right there. And next we're going to we're going to put these potatoes on the top of it. And we're going to spread it out on there. Just dab it around because it don't spread too good. <laughs> let me get me a... Let me get me another spatula out. I'm going to set this on a pan because I really don't want it to spill out onto my oven. I have enough trouble keeping that thing clean already. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've had I've had a few things happen in that oven. Fire <laughs> because I didn't have things uh, sitting down in a pan like I was supposed to. So. Let's just spread that all out. These potatoes taste so good. Let's give it some little areas that will crisp up even better. Okay. Let's get y'all over here and <laughs> sit that in there. Let it bake for about 30 minutes, 25 or 30, but we're good. Now, I'm going to get all my mess cleaned up over here and in the floor and everywhere else. <laughs> and about by that time, I'll be back with y'all. See you soon. I actually let it bake for 35 minutes. And that was a really good idea to set that on top of that pan because I would have had a mess down in my oven again. Nice, nice. Let's see here. Let me, let me get this stuff moved around. Hot pans where hot pans need to be. Dinner where dinner needs to be. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks so good. I am going to sprinkle some chives on the top of this. Um, just like that. Let's get some of this out of here. Let Tom give it a taste. see what you guys think about this. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, that looks so good. Look at that. <laughs> My goodness. 
this. We're gonna, yeah, it just came out of the oven, so it's gonna be super hot. But, uh, let me get y'all a little look at that. Mm -hmm. Now the hubby's gonna give it a try here. It's pretty hot, so let's see what you think about it. That that smells like a pot pie. <laughs> it looks pretty delicious, doesn't it? it smells good. Is it hot? <laughs> too hot to taste? Mm. No. <laughs> Not too hot to taste, but it's too good to stop. Oh, awesome. That's amazing. Thank you. It really is. I've, I've never had this before. Uh -uh. Ever. So. Uh. Shepherd's pie, cottage pie, whichever it may be. It's supper for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys. There you go. Cottage pie, shepherd's pie. Whichever you prefer to call it. There it is. And now, I'm going to get me a bowl of it. Mm -hmm. It's very hot, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I can take a big bite of it. So <laughs> My mouth is just not set up for that really hot stuff. That's good. good. You guys, you really need to give this a try. Um, we will put a link to the recipe on my Facebook page, Handcrafted by, that's it, Nana's Hidden Apron, and I'll also put it on Instagram. I'm going to put some pictures on it, and I'll put the recipe on there too. That's under Brenda Owens. That's me. So, you all take care. We're going to go enjoy this. Have a wonderful evening. And until next time, see ya.